G'day everyone, welcome back to NS2HD. I'm playing on Vale. This is a public game that I've just jumped into. It's about one minute uh, old. I need, nano. I need help with nano, guys. Got one building the power at West Junction. No way I'm running down that hallway, but what I will do is go into this vent and try to be a sneaky, sneaky bastard. Oh, bugger. If there weren't two of them, I might have had a chance. At least I got some damage in and some parasites in. Uh, so this is a oh, first-person cool. alien game on Veil. Vale. Uh, these players seem fairly good. It's a great little 7v7. Again, guys, I can't stress enough, go with the smaller servers. You will have so much more fun than on those massive 24-player servers. I am going to get Aura here, which is going to indicate the health and location of enemy players around me. And I think I've got my microphone set a little bit too sensitive this round. So you might get a bit of clipping on the high end, which I apologize for. Gotcha. And I'm going to immediately gorge this for my commander to try and keep it alive. Uh, we got incoming. Uh, Overlook, need help. Overlook. But I'm going to try and put a high drop here before these marines arrive. And heal up this harvester, because losing harvester at the start of the game is not a good thing for alien teams. So, in this situation, definitely going gorge to try and keep this thing alive. Try and put these hydras all over the place where so they might not see them till they're already in the room. Cargo. Roger. I'm gorging overlook for you, boss. I might actually be able to get that one going. Yes, I can. Phase in nano now. We need to get there. Phase in nano. Roger. Might be able to deal with it once we've got Baal. Bar bomb. I'm not too worried about losing this gorge, to be honest. I wasn't really intending to stay gorge. We do already have two hive gorges in cargo, so we're a bit gorge heavy. Um, Skulk and Skylights, how many people are there? Is it just one? How many in Skylights, Skulk? Come in, Skulk. Come in with me right now. I'm healing. Healing. Come in with me. Come in with me. Jump in now, now, now. Skulk. the skulk to kill him. I'm not going to be able to kill him. Alright, there we go. Let's get this extractor. That is called offensive gorging. I'll warn you when they're coming, skulky. Incoming skulk. Get ready to fight. Get ready to fight. He's coming around the corner. Here he comes. We'll do it again. I'll heal you. Might have more than one this time. Let's go. Damn it. It's all good, mate. It's all good. Let's see if I can get save this gorge. Even though I'm not too worried about losing it, there's no point in losing it God for nothing. Damn. We might have incoming to overlook soon. There's no point in losing it for nothing. So, finish putting these hydras up, and I might put another clog on the top of that because protecting upgrade structures is very important. They are very valuable, and if you lose them, you will hate life. So, can head back down to Overlook. We're not off to a great start. Cargo's in trouble, guys. We need people to get to cargo. The only thing, only asset we've really got is Overlook, which is not a very good asset to have. Cargo would be much nicer. So I'm going to head over there now and see if I can help out. This alien team not looking to be in a fantastic position here. Roger. Now we are going to need to secure cargo, guys. I hear one. It's a good idea to get some babblers, gotcha. just to add them to myself. I think we are a little bit gorge heavy on the team right now. Well, we were, not anymore, but we were gorge heavy. Gonna fire the babble ball off at the wall. There is a marine cargo, guys. We need to hit cargo. If we don't take cargo, everything else doesn't matter. Unless we can hit nano. Two gorges down in system waypointing. Alright, I'm gonna go back to being a skulk now. Try to do a bit of def damage to the enemy team. If you are too gorge heavy, your offensive firepower is significantly reduced. And while you can uh, defend areas with hydras, clogs, and babblers, you can't take areas very effectively. So, that's what we're going to do here. I do prefer Celerity or Carapace uh, as my first upgrades. This commander has gone with sensory upgrades with veils, which is totally a legit strategy. It just doesn't really suit my particular playstyle very well. And 
Well, I want to save this gorge. There are three marines in there. There's nothing I can really do except parasite here. Oh, a bit off way more than I could chew there. Got right out in the middle of that hologram area. Where I was very vulnerable to multiple angles of fire. It's nice that we've got a little bit of uh, pressure on control, but honestly, without taking a little bit of territory for ourselves, we're not going to succeed here. We are not going to succeed. Let's get Aura back. I could go with cloaking instead. The situational awareness that Aura provides is bloody awesome, though. Just can't beat it. They are cutting us off in system waypointing, guys. We may have to try a rush, a bile bomb rush, perhaps, if you can get the biomass boss. So there's an upgrade on the hive called biomass. You can get bile bomb, I believe, at a crag. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, you want boss. It's just an idea. You don't have to do it. But a bile bomb rush might give us a chance at doing some damage. Gotcha, you sneaky little bugger trying to come from behind there. Oh no, if I'd been on Bite instead of Parasite, I might have had a chance to do some damage there. I'm pretty hammy with my Parasite hits, but if you're not doing any Bite damage, then the Marine team is not going to be dying, you're going to be losing Gorges. It, we do have a very Gorge-heavy team here, it seems. Uh, a lot of Gorge players, and I'm not a great Skulk, so I definitely can't carry this. But without someone doing some killing, it's hard to do much. Overlook is still up, though, which is nice. I'm going to try and break through here and do some damage at Skylights. Just to draw them away from the fight at System Waypointing. Oh, yes, it's down. This is good. Okay, the Marine Commander might not be amazing. It's pressure on control. Oh, where did you come from, you sneaky bugger? Oh, damn. I'm lucky to have killed him. He had me dead to rights. But, uh, yes. It was nice to get that kill there either way. This game will not last much longer at this rate. We are in serious trouble, this alien team. And it is about needing to take cargo early in the early game. Going for over... Go, at least uh, at least cargo. Nana Grid also is a great thing the, to have. The Marines' resource advantage is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger the longer this game goes on. And there's going to be very little we can do, apart from perhaps go for a pipeline drop, which is incredibly difficult to do. Uh, because the Marines do have you cut off. Oh, I was trying to get behind the extractor. I just didn't feel like I could go at him frontally there. Uh, with that shotgun, he's going to be able to hit me. And when you move towards someone, uh, when your vector is towards them, you're a very easy target. So trying to move across their field of vision is a much better option. We do have bar bomb, guys. So that gorge in Skylights, do you want to... It's all good, Techno. It's all good. There's always another game, mate. Oh, it's all practice. Yeah, um, I'm going to run back and start bar bombing. I'm getting me some... Um, all right, wait up. Because I'll join you and we'll double bar bomb. Sounds good. Ah, oh, bugger, I got killed. Um, sorry, I am on my way to you, though. Just hold up. I reckon we go for the observatory. And we'll need to time it. Precisely. Especially with that celerity. I'm on my way. If anyone else wants to join us, that'd be really good. Oh, nice silver bullet. Nice. Alright, I'm evolving in the vent. I see you've been f discovered. Hurry up, I'm joining me. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, guys, if you can hide with cloaking, that would be great, because I'm almost there. I'm almost there if you can hide. Yeah, I'm hiding cloaking. Okay. You, you I'm hiding too. Just a second. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay. Let them, Let them pass. Let them pass. Oh, no, he saw me. He saw me. I'm going to wait in the vent and wait for them to pass. Yo, Techno, I'm looking at you, man. We're going to go out and bow bomb their comp center. Alright, okay. wait. I'm, I'm almost Stop. there, guys. Structure is I'm trying to get to you. I'm almost there. 
see you, man. Hang tight. It's clear. We're here. All right, now move yeah. slowly, and as soon as we get scanned, we hit the observatory, okay? Observatory first. Roger. As soon as we get scanned. Slow, slow. Where is it? Where's the orbs? Where's... Okay, where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. All right, get the phase. Get the phase instead. Phase instead. Phase, phase, phase. It's a good base. It's well spread out. Yeah, the beacon, baby. Nice, nice. <laughs> Get out of there, silver bullet. Run! I managed to survive too. That's awesome. We could get them again. Once they leave. Nice. If you want to go again. Alone and sub. Oh, nice. Get him. Get him in sub then. Get that exo. Oh, damn. Needed a gorge there. So I'm back in Skylights, between Control and Skylights if anyone wants to join me. So this has turned into quite a little interesting game. We are going to lose, for sure, but we'll see how much damage we can do before we do. I wonder where that obs was. It must have been in a corner. When I watch the video, it'll probably be blindingly obvious to me. But in combat, it's always so hard to see those things. We could have done serious damage if we'd seen that obs first. Seriously. All right, one dual minigun EXO moving from Skylights to West Junction, guys. Wasabi well, one two is on fire. I think because it's I not. Every time choosing the wrong crag with a shark. I thought it's choosing the wrong high. Who's this bloody obs? Oh, I see it. Where is the op? Found it. It's at the back of their base. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Now I'm just going to cloak and sit here and wait. This is a sneaky little gorge game here. I mean, the hive's going to die, so it's just a matter of poking them in their Everybody eye wherever possible. The hive drops megs. Because uh, it's just playing for honor at the moment, playing for fun, and the fun thing to do at the end of the game is exploit Holy cloaking. <laughs> Wasabi two on fire. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, he just keeps going, and it's about to die. So I'm just gonna use my last moments here to barb on their whole base. <laughs> Wasabi 2 is godlike. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch marines. At least I got some damage into their base to end it. Ah. Uh, and that's a little bit of an alien loss there. That uh, was a devastating, uh, devastating loss actually for the alien team. So hopefully you learned something from that, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.